What's up YouTube, it's your girl Destiny Alexis with a quick inspirational word for today. I want you to know that you've come so far to just give up now. And I remember in seasons of my life where I was so lost, I was so confused, and I just questioned when was God ever gonna step in and save me from the life that I was experiencing. Now granted, some of the things I was going through were out of my control. It was things that I literally couldn't change about my situation, my environment. But one thing I could have done differently was not been so hard on myself in those seasons because those seasons are the very things that made me who I am today. Certain challenges and obstacles that I've had to overcome where had I given up, I don't know where I would be today. But I know that as I kept going and I continue to trust in God and I continue to believe that this was just for a moment that eventually I looked up and things were so much different than they were at that time. And you may be in a season in your life right now where you're questioning, when is it ever going to change? When is God going to do something new? When is that new beginning going to happen for you? But I promise you, as long as you keep going, you keep one, one foot forward and you keep walking one step after the next step after the next step, eventually you're going to look up and you're going to look back and say you would have never thought that you were going to get out of that situation that you were in as you continue to go through your life i want you to remember when challenging times come challenges are a good thing and in the bible it speaks about how certain things certain challenges and obstacles can build your character can build pressure perseverance can make you learn how to go through seasons of your life with more faith because you know that god's going to bring you out of it and i can say honestly in my season it has been challenging it has been hard it has been frustrating to say the least because I want something so bad, I want new so much that I'm waiting for God to just go ahead and open the doors. And the doors are already open, everything is already gonna take place. It's just that waiting season of that, that official day where I feel like I have been restored, where I feel like the new season is finally here. And so while you're in your waiting season, I want you to know that God has literally brought you so far for you to just give up now. You're not in the right space right now. You're not in the right headspace to even create content. Why would you tell people that you're, you know, going through a season where you're maybe a little bit overwhelmed or um, unmotivated? Why would you do that? But the reason why is because we're overcome by our testimony. So the same way I can sit here and tell you I could be a little bit overwhelmed. I could be a little bit um, unmotivated right now. I could feel like I shouldn't be creating content because I'm not in the right headspace. That's where the best content comes from. Although I'm anticipating for my better season to be here already, although I know it's coming, but I'm in that waiting season. I'm waiting for God to just go ahead and speed up the process because your girl's over here struggling. <laughs> but no, for real, even though I'm in this season, I'm still gonna show up. Even though I'm in this season, I'm still gonna do something. I'm still gonna make something out of it. If you've ever been overwhelmed, frustrated, which we all have, but even in seasons where you feel like you just don't know where to turn or what to do next, I encourage you to either journal it, write it down, um, put it in your notes, make a voice memo, do something if you just keep it in your phone. Because I've looked back at so many different seasons of my life and I can literally be like, oh my gosh, like, I remember that day, I remember how I felt, and it just reminds me of how far I've come. It reminds me of how much God has done in my life. It has shown me how good God has been in my life, how much favor he has over us and over me. And sometimes we get so lost in everything and we forget to even come back to God and say thank you, or to even, to even think back to those times and how we felt and what we've overcome sometimes we forget about the things we've been through sometimes we forget about the different seasons and obstacles and trials we've had to overcome sometimes we don't even look back at those moments and so as i'm documenting my life and i'm sharing my story online and i'm telling people how i feel and i'm being very vulnerable and i'm expressing so many different things one thing i know is eventually i'm going to be out of this season eventually i'm going to be exactly where god called me to be eventually i'm going to be in a better headspace eventually i'm going to be in a space where i can create wherever i want however i want whenever i want and so i want you to think about that even though your situation might right now might not be as desirable as it once was or it may not be as comfortable as it was one thing i know is pressure 
builds diamonds and that's what i've heard before and i know and i know it's true you know there's nothing like going through a season where you feel like it was so hard where you feel like it was overwhelming to then come out of that and be so much stronger and so i want you to know you are stronger than you think that you are you are more equipped than you think that you are god is on your side more than you think that he is god is testing you in this season to see how you're going to handle this this journey how you're going to handle this process i truthfully believe god is literally testing to see what am i going to do in this season are you going to sit here and are you going to do nothing in this time frame just because it's not what you feel like it should be? Are you not going to show up online and give people your testimony and tell people how you feel just because you feel like the aesthetics aren't right? Just because you feel like talking in your bathroom is going to offend people? I know that God has given me the ability to share my story and to talk to people and to express myself because I'm willing to do so. But what I know is God is going to put you in a season to see what you're gonna do in that time frame. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna get up? Are you gonna make something out of it? Or are you gonna sit there and you're gonna let life pass you by? Are you gonna get up in this season that you feel overwhelmed, depressed, angry, upset, mad? Are you gonna get up and you're gonna make something out of your life? Or are you gonna sit there and you're gonna do nothing? And that's a great question for you. Are you going to sit there and let life pass you by? Because I decided a long time ago, I when I when I got to a place where I would get to get up and do what God called me to do I wasn't going to turn back and it was seasons and weeks and months of saying okay well eventually I'm going to be there eventually I'm going to be able to do this eventually I'm going to be able to speak online I feel like I'm getting a little bit more comfortable I feel like if I keep taking these steps eventually I'll feel more comfortable to share that story eventually I'll feel more comfortable to share that part of my life I don't want no one to know about eventually I'll get to the point where I can stand on a stage and tell people my story and cry and not feel bad about it. The more I share my message, the more I express myself, the more I show up in times when it's uncomfortable, the more I go against the grain and do it anyway, despite how I feel, is the more that one of you is gonna be overcome by my story. One of you is gonna be motivated. One of you is gonna keep going. One of you is gonna decide to get up despite how it feels, despite what it looks like, despite what you've been through. One of you is gonna decide to keep going. And that's the only thing I can hope for. And so although, you may feel like what's the point you may feel like it's not the time you may feel like it's not right you may feel like a, a number of different things i want you to know you have come so far for you to give up now you have come so far such a long way for you to turn back now for you to say that you're going to throw the towel in now i want you to get up despite what it looks like despite how it feels despite how 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 much your mind tells you otherwise i want you to go against the grain today i want you to stand up and do something outside of your comfort zone and i also want you to write down how you feel today make a note make a memory of it and sign your date to say this is the day that i decided i'm not going to give up on me this is the day today I decide I'm gonna go all in for my dreams this is the day today is the day I make something out of what I feel like is nothing if you have felt like your life has been short of nothing if you feel like you have been going through a season of just so many different trials and and trying times and tribulation and just hard things that you don't know how you're gonna come out of coming from someone who has been there I've been in situations where I didn't know if God was going to rescue me. I've been in situations where I didn't even know if God was going to come save me. I didn't, I could not see a way out. And I'm speaking to you today. So what does that mean? I eventually got out of it. I'm here today, which means God brought me out of it. I'm here today, which means God had a plan for me. I'm here today, which means God already had it figured it out way before I even knew it even existed. Before the problem even was there, God had it figured out. Before you even thought of a way out, God already knew how you were going to get out of it and he knew you were going to come out of it victorious, okay? And so today, as long as you go on your journey, you continue to keep walking forward, you continue to keep one foot moving after the next foot, after the next foot, you're going to come out of this stronger than you've ever been. And you're going to be happy that you didn't give up. So you've come too far to stop now. Don't stop. Don't give up. 
keep going and I promise you you're gonna be happy that you did well I hope this video was inspirational for you I hope that you got something out of it and I hope that you remember to keep going on your journey even when it's hard even when it's confusing because you have come too far to give up now I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video it's been on me, this is alcohol. Had to stop just in